Once you have an animation you want to render, first create an empty object. You will want to make sure that the empty object is also called empty. Then have your camera track to that object. Line up your camera so that it will record one of the eight directions you want to record. Make the camera and lighting a child of the empty object. Set your camera to the desired render settings. This usually includes turning the transparency on, which can be found under the film section in the camera settings. Now open up the scripts tab of Blender. Here we will use a script to render in all eight directions. This script will be in the description of the video, so you can just copy and paste it into Blender. The first print function of the script just lets us print words to the console and isn't really needed for the rendering. The second function called render spin will render the animation eight times. Between each render, it will find the object called empty and rotate it 45 degrees. The output of each of the eight renders will be sent to different folders. You can specify the location of these outputted folders when you call render spin by typing in the path here. In my case, it will be in the temp eight direction animation directory. Before running this script, ensure that the empty object does not have any animation or keyframes attached to it. If it does, the camera will not rotate around the animation properly. Now press the play button to run the script. The script will print done in the console once it's finished. Now go to the directory of the outputted renders. You should see eight folders labeled zero to seven. Each folder represents one render in a certain direction and will be populated with images that were generated during the render. Now we will stitch these together into a single sprite sheet. In order to accomplish this, you will need Python installed on your machine, as well as the Python image library pillow. Once you do that, you should be able to run a Python script to stitch the images together into a single file. I have the code for this Python script in the description below. You will want to put this Python script in the same directory as all the output image folders. This Python script will loop through each folder and stitch all the images together into a single sprite sheet. I even created a bat file to run this file with ease. This bat file is also in the description. Once you run the bat file, wait a few moments and the Python script should stitch together all the images. This is what the end result should look like. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions.